The atmosphere is electric. As an amateur, you're doing it for fun. There's an itch you need to scratch. I can't wait to be in it tonight. A group of a hundred something people going 35 into a corner. It's the adrenaline rush. This is our first time at the highest level of Speed Week, so we don't really know what to expect. I think we have a pretty good idea of how hard it's going to be, but I, I just want to get everyone through it safe, no crashing, see how far everyone can get. My name is Thomas. I organize our bike racing team. It's a bunch of friends we've collected who like to do this and a vehicle for them to work hard together and challenge themselves. And it's a fun time. Have you ever been to Athens before? Yeah. No, man. That's it's my good. first time. I'm excited. I'm so stoked to be here. It brings a lot of purpose to my life, a lot of meaning. Like, I know it's, it's just crit racing and probably 90% of the population doesn't know what it is, but like it means a lot to me and it like gives me a goal and something to focus on. I'm excited. Everything I've heard is that it's the best race of the year, so I'm looking forward to that. A little nervous, but it'll be a blast. Being part of this team, to me, to be honest, it means like having best friends. <laughs> like these guys are people that I've known for years. Um, and some that I, I haven't and have kind of grown close to. Like, obviously we're not in it for like the results or the glory, the culture and the, the camaraderie, I guess. I think of amateur bike racing as something that we can all do. And where we're at is this interesting balance between really doing it and still having the rest of our life kind of be normal people. This is the last like two weeks of the semester. So all the project work that nobody's been doing is adding up and uh, we're getting it done now. <laughs> Just like we're putting on tires the day before a race, too. <laughs> it's called race prep. It's called race prep. This is going well. You need help. A little bit of teamwork. I got it. Yeah. It doesn't sound like you got it, bro. Well, there's like a tiny amount of stuff. Just keep going. I would be lying to you if I said I thought I had any chance of winning a pro race, but it's gonna be a fun experience nonetheless, and Honestly, I think that's what's great about this team is it's just a bunch of guys looking to have fun and race their bikes. I think a large amount of it is just trying to have a fun, conducive environment for each other where we live our lives in a way that we won't like look back in like 30 years and be like, well, it would have been cool if we went to these races, but we were too worried about our career. It's the beginning of Speed Week, so tonight is the Athens Twilight Criterium, kind of the, the peak of the American crit scene. It means a lot to a lot of people. For me, uh, coming from Athens, it's the home race. It, it was what got me into riding a bike. I didn't even own a bike before I saw Twilight, and that looks like the coolest thing I've ever seen. I mean, it's a cliche, but this week is like the Super Bowl of crit racing, right? Racing a crit is like every single emotion you can feel in 60 minutes. Ready to go. <laughs> Getting excited. Goosebumps. It's kind of surreal. Everything goes in slow motion. You get to just turn yourself inside out. It's excitement, it's, it's scared, it's feeling on top of the world and also like you're gonna blow up and get dropped Ladies at any gentlemen. second. We're going in three, two, one. Born for prime time, cold bloody. Heated up when in the limelight. I told nobody got ice in my veins. Whoa, we got a different mentality. Yeah, we not built the same. Whoa, adrenaline bringing it out of me. Yeah, look on two turn. There is no way you were stopping me now. Came too far to accept the loss. Taking that trophy at any cost. Where my who ready? Be ready. Who want it? Then come get it. Hey, these folks they got me chopped like a machete. They must not know I'm hot. Who ready? I made it uh, 14 minutes. 
That was the hardest shit I've ever done in my entire life. We knew it was gonna be crazy, but that was way harder than expected. That was different. It was different. It was fast from the gun, and uh, I was like throttled, heart rate in the red for the entire time until I got dropped. It's like a way of sort of testing yourself. And so just doing it is already getting what I want to get out of it. We do all these things to sort of psychologically distance ourselves from reality. And then the, the race is in some way you're encountering of reality. It's like coming up against the real is what I want from racing. And so in that way, it's like constantly humbling and inspiring. All of us came to Athens and saw Twilight, you know, in the first year that we were here. And we were like, that looks insane but that's something I could realistically do if I work hard enough. And we're all at that point this year, so it's years of effort and things coming together for us to start. Last night was uh, was an interesting situation. You learn from your mistakes and move forward, right? So today's a new day. It's amateur hour over here. I mean, quite literally, amateur hour. <laughs> it's about to be. A lead-out train is like a rocket ship where it slowly accelerates and it loses members as it goes, such that eventually it'll launch into outer space. Riders are ready. Frankie's ready. I'm ready. You guys are gonna start on the whistle. It's your 2023 LaGrange, the Pro Man. Stop, we start. Yesterday, the first half was just chin to the stem, closing gaps wherever I could. Today was a little bit more getting that snap back and uh, a marked improvement from last night. And I think uh, the knife's getting sharpened a little bit. Why do I do this thing that takes up so much time when we have so many other things going on in our world and nobody can take what you do away from you on the bike. Um, I feel like in a lot of the rest of our life, people can make you feel a certain way about the things you do after the fact, but on the bike, the work you put in and everything you do, nobody can take that. I think friendships will be richer and um, mean something more if you're challenging yourself and working towards something difficult. And it's it's hard to even start all of this or be even moderately successful if you're by yourself. So it's way easier and more fun if you have your friends together. You know, Thomas always says something like, it's not about the, like, the races, it's about the friends you make along the way. And that sounds like such a cliche cop-out, but what you remember is not really the result. It's really just about the experiences you have with friends. I felt so much better than yesterday, which is really, really nice. And it's nice to know that like where I'm at in the season right now is like very far from where I can get to. 
you're like, oh, it happens to them too. Like, the guys who like get paid to race their bikes also get like, too dumb, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we all do. <laughs>